We are all aware of the lack of build storyline for Survivor Series. Now, sure, the WWE in the last week have kind of made up for it on SmackDown Live. We had a heel turn. We had a new champion. You know, the WWE really swerved the audience. The complexity, the vibe, the aura of Survivor Series has changed. Now, remember, on this channel, I do talk and discuss my view and opinion of rumors rumors, news, headlines, speculation, and gossip. So, you know, to, um, you know, for the WWE right now, they're in a place where they feel like they got the audience. But to uh, compensate for the lack of build, there's rumors, rumors, because here on Sean's View, we talk about rumors, and if you don't like that, unsubscribe, because sometimes rumors happen, sometimes they don't happen, sometimes they come all the way, or some kind, sometimes they come partial way, or no way, I, I can't control that, rumors of a monumental Survivor Series heel turn, now the two stars that come to my mind as it concerns a heel turn, because here's with this, let's back up for a moment, I'm going to assume that this heel turn perhaps means Paul Heyman turning on Brock Lesnar or AJ Styles or Randy or I mean who's going to turn where is the WWE going to go what directive or directive are they going to go in here is the thing the WWE is turning up the unpredictable factor okay and that's what we ask for all we want to all we ask as WWE fans is to be compelled intrigued and for things to be unpredictable all right now, when we're talking about a Survivor Series heel turn, who else better? I mean, Daniel Bryan right now, the only way Daniel Bryan could re realistically defeat Brock Lesnar is if Paul Heyman turned heel. Now, this is a match. Brock Lesnar and Daniel Bryan is a match that has been a few years in the making. This match was supposed to happen, what, months, years ago? All right. Um, you know, I'm 30 years old now, so my, my, my WWE history, even though I've been watching WWE since I've been four years old, three years, hell, I've been watching since I was in diapers, but, uh, you know, when I think about a heel turn, or when I think of a turn, what a turn of events that the WWE has done with Survivor Series in just one week, so if the writing and the storytelling could be that good just one week in, can you imagine what the WWE could draw up for a heel turn at Survivor Series? So what I want right now from my viewers and my subscribers and my fans is I want your comments and I want your opinions on who you think could turn heel at the Survivor Series. That would mean we had a new champion and two heel turns in the matter and the manner of one week's Hey, maybe the creative team is starting to pick things up. Maybe the pace is starting to quicken. Maybe the WWE understands where they are, well, where they were mistaken and where they need to be supreme to come to the cream of the crop where they can't stop and the WWE has to go all out. Viewers and subscribers, what heel turn could we potentially witness at the Survivor Series? And again, realistically, how else could Daniel Bryan even have a shot or a chance to defeat Brock Lesnar if it weren't for Paul Heyman turning on Lesnar? Once again, on this channel, I am prolific, I am consistent, and I am dedicated. There ain't no mistaken. Share my videos on Facebook and Twitter. Have no fear. The brash one is freaking here. Subscribe and smash that bell and refresh my channel multiple times a day so you're always in the know on all WWE because I work around the clock and I sure as hell don't stop.